Welcome! This video is for a pinwheel hair bow. Okay, I'm starting out with this cute ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's a one and a half inch grow grain ribbon, cutting it about 32 inches long. And then I'm using this little mat that I got from Dollar Tree that helps guide me. It's six inches wide, so that's about how long I'm making the loops. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. It just depends. Uh, no two cuts are the same. So you see, I kind of have to adjust it a little bit. And I'm doing four total loops, so two on each side, a tail on each side. And then I'm just gathering it in the center. It's real easy to tell where the center is because you just look for the number three line. Pinch it, and then I take an alligator clip and clip it right there in the center. Make sure I like how it's looking then this is so easy. I just take a cable tie or zip tie and run it right through that alligator clip. Flip that sucker over and start tightening your zip tie. And then pull that alligator clip off. And I don't tighten it completely until I know that it's how I want it. And then tighten it the rest of the way. Cut it off all the way at the knot. And then I kind of move the knot to the side where it's not all the way straight at the back and trimming up those tail ends just cutting a v-shape or a dovetail I'm using a three inch french clip just gonna hot glue this to the back side of the bow and i've already flipped that bow over so just right there in the center if you don't move that zip tie little knot then it'll be in the way of that French clip. So just either move it up or down just a little bit so it's kind of out of the way. But you don't want it on the front either. So that's the only thing about using a zip tie is you have to deal with that little knot. So I suggest the smallest zip ties you can get away with. So that's what it looks like when you've got that on. Now I'm just using a brown grow grain ribbon, a thin grow grain for the center. And I start by gluing it to the French clip, the back of the French clip or inside of the fr fr French clip, I can't say it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna wrap it around the center. Make sure that you're covering up that zip tie. Uh, you kinda have to go under that little piece. You can take that piece off, but it's such a pain to get back on. I'd rather just slide that uh, ribbon underneath it. Now I'm uh, gluing that. And then I'm wrapping it around again. If you cut this little piece long enough, you can wrap it around a couple of times. I rarely ever measure that. I just cut off a piece that looks long enough. So sometimes I'm too short, sometimes I'm too long. Now, if it, you've got uh, too long of a piece, you can trim that off. You can also uh, glue it over onto itself to give a really clean end. I'm just going to wrap that down underneath again. I see there's a little bit of an overhang, so just want to glue that down. See how you can fold it over so you don't have to worry about that end fraying. Now I've got to glue it to the ribbon, glue the end to the ribbon that's wrapped around. Just press that down. And you can take a lighter to uh, get rid of any of those hot glue strings that are everywhere. So here's what it looks like. And now I'm going to add a few more things. Or one more thing, a few more things. Uh, there's actually one thing I didn't show, so I apologize for that. I don't know how it didn't get recorded. This, so this is like the um, diamond re mesh ribbon or wrap, except it's pearls. And this also came from Hobby Lobby, so I'm just measuring how much I need. I'm not going to wrap it all the way around because it doesn't need to be on the back side. Just want to make sure it covers up along the sides and kind of around the back. And that's what the spool looks like. I'm going to put some glue on one end. Let me see, I'm going to flip it over and just kind of start on the back side to make sure that it's seen when it's worn. You don't see those ends. And you will get some hot glue strings that you have to deal with there. And then glue the other side. If you want to wrap it all the way around, you can. If not, like that is good. Uh, I did add one more thing. I ended up adding this little button. 
and I cut off the little button part on the back side. But those are from Hobby Lobby as well in the um, Paper Studio stuff. And I used a combination of hot glue and art glitter glue to glue that down. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video was informative and useful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel right here. Here is one of my recent uploads. I think you will enjoy that. Here is a playlist full of great videos. Here is another video you might enjoy. Click on any of those and it'll take you right to them. Uh, please consider subscribing and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications on my uploads, live streams, and premieres. And happy crafting, happy mom making everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day and be kind to others and be kind to yourself.